Good morning, good morning, good morning, you guys. Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Real Talk with SLR, Saturday morning edition. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful morning today. It is. Bright uh, blue skies. Not a cloud in the sky, actually. Mm-hmm. I think from what the <clears throat> weather app was saying, it's 59 degrees outside right now. I know. It's perfect. It's like perfect. If it could stay like this all day, that would be great. <laughs> that, would be, that would be awesome. But I know it's not going to. No, it's I not. I think it's calling for 83 for the high today. So today's going to be a little bit warm. It's all right. There's not a cloud in sight. It is beautiful, and we're going to get a lot done today. Yeah, yesterday was uh, challenging, to say the least, for, uh, for old Gary. I'm sorry, babe. Man, it was literally, almost, it felt like the never-ending like, story. story. Yeah. But seriously. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Oh, I, it was exactly how I was feeling nonstop yesterday. I don't know how many times I pulled or picked up and put the template up there in total of like, you know, yesterday. And if I were to total it out from the day before and yesterday as well and everything else like that, man, I it probably was, would have, I probably picked that thing up and put that thing up there like 50 times. Easily. Probably close to No, it. easily. Um, <laughs> I didn't do any recording of Gary yesterday because it was so much back and forth and I didn't want to stress him out because he was already stressed out enough trying to figure out that angle. Um, so yeah, so I left Gary to his own devices, but Gary was successful. Yes. All of the trial and error and all of the banging his head against the wall, he finally got it right. And now we have the, uh, the template for the kickers which as soon as we're done with this real talk, we're going to cut them off real quick. Mm -hmm. And then as soon as those are cut it off, guess what? It's rafter time. Yep. I'm excited. So I should be able to mirror that thing now, and I should be able to make all the, the hip joists mm -hmm. just right and everything. And it's, it's tricky. I've never really done a whole lot of, uh, you know, that kind of stuff or anything else like that, like to where... You're trying to plane out the same angle and the same like level Listen, filled this, and this everything one, like, else. And it was stump like stump very experienced builders, <sighs> let alone for it being your first time. I'm massively impressed. I got it though. Yeah. You I, did. I had to figure it out and try to be like, okay, what's going on? I thought that the angles needed to be like this. And then I was like messing around. And probably by the third one, I finally figured out. I was like, no, I don't need to. I thought that's what it was the first time. I need this to be at the angle and this just to be cut and then that being at a 45 and it's a lot of numbers back and forth and trying to get it to be exactly right and everything else and then you get it up there and you're like, all right, does that plane out with all the other joists? Does that work? No, it's off a little bit. How? What's going on? <laughs> 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 How is it so much higher? Oh, this man. doesn't make any sense. So I, I think I got it to a point where it is as close as it's going to get. And if I have to maneuver that thing, you know, in or out just a tad, just to make it drop just ever so slightly, then so be it, you know. But from what I'm looking at it, it looks sight-wise, it looks like it's sighting in perfect. It looks like, you know, I put a huge a uh, 16 foot board across and make sure that it was level and <laughs> it's literally within like a 16th of an inch. So I'm like, that's yeah. close enough. <laughs> yeah. No, it's good. <laughs> and that's at the end of it. That's not even up at the top. At the top, it's like perfect. Yeah. There's like no real worry about it. So, oh, that was a lot though. To so get it back of, to that point. all of your banging your head against the wall was not for naught. No. And, um, you know, at the end of the day, you got it. You didn't give up. You kept kept going with it. And that's the that's the thing right there. You know, I mean, I felt, dude, the first day I was like, man, I'm failing miserably, you know. But I am one who, you know, that won't give up. No. And that's something that I feel like everybody needs in one way or a shape or form, you know is that if you're smacking your head against the wall, <laughs> doing something, you're like, this isn't working, you know, and everything else. Sometimes it's best just to take your step back and go back to it. But biggest thing is don't give up. Yeah, I, I would agree. I think that especially, you know, this day and age, people are very quick to quit. 
Yes. Um, on everything. It can be applied to uh, to sports and stuff, right, too? Yeah. Like, if you're not getting it, you know, right away, you quit. Or people with diets, you know, you start a diet trend and you get going on that. You don't see the results you want right away, mm. so you quit. Um, relationships, people get into their first big argument. Oh, that's not the right one. And then they quit. No. You know, it goes, it can be like, it that can with, be a broad, such broad, a broad statement. Yes. You know, um, but, I'm just finding analogies so that way you can take what we're saying and try to plant it into your life and make it applicable to you. Yes. Um, but that's... I'm, I'm very proud of you for keep going. I mean, Gary was out there for the entire day yesterday. <laughs> And, you know, some people will laugh about that and some people try to shame, right? We get a lot of shame, shame. You didn't do work enough. Shame. You're not good mm. enough. But you know what? Y'all can take that shame and shove it because Gary and I are doing our best and I'm very, very, very proud of you. The don't quit, the don't give up and the determination is honestly very inspiring to me, babe. And I'm very proud of you. And I'm proud of all of our successes, all of our failures. Uh, because Appreciate there have been that. many, but you know what? They've all been learning moments for us to continue to grow and to continue to uh, to do the darn thing. No. And man, we're doing it little we're by get, little. We're, we're getting, getting there. It one way, one way or another, it's going to get done. Yeah, you know. I'd, and there's but, no there's there's no pressure or time limit on how long it takes. It takes no. how long it takes. I mean, I want to get it done sooner than later. Obviously, but, so do I. But it takes how long it takes. Yes, you know, you're learning things. Listen, I can't do the things that you do. I cannot do the things that you do just because my brain doesn't work in that kind of way. On the flip side, you can't do the things that I do. There ain't no way so, I'd be able to have the patience to sit there and so do what you do. So we're a great team, right? But what I was going to say is that like, if it takes you, this is something that you've never done before. If it takes you all day to figure out that angle, that cut, whatever, then it took you all day to figure it out. Some, you know, I think about the hours that I've spent, you know, like on the computer and stuff like that. And if you added up all of those hours, think about the amount of days that I've spent on the computer trying to figure out something to make the video better Correct. or trying to figure out something to make the, or looking into doing my research on cameras or equipment or microphones or whatever. Right. So it's all relative. And, um, if it takes however long it takes, the journey is what's exciting. Exactly. And and having that feeling of like failure, 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 success and a win. That mm -hmm. that win feels good, right? Oh, it felt great yesterday. <laughs> I wanted to continue going, but of course my body was screaming at me yesterday. Yeah. It was to a point where I was like, look, if I go, I might not be able to get up out of bed tomorrow. Yeah, and I didn't like, want you to be like that. Mother's Day is tomorrow. Mother's Day is tomorrow, so I'm like, I can't. <laughs> Uh, my body, you know, and I don't know what the heck happened to my body or my lower back aspect. It's more so my lower back, but I think, you know, twisting on those ladders may have had something to do with it. It could have, you know, that was little, it's not like we've been not doing anything. We built an entire building, a metal shed. And then we also put together the kick it shed mm -hmm. and we've also moved around a ton of lumber and up and down, up and down, up and down and with shoveling those pieces. and everything and, else. Yeah, exactly. And... It's not like we haven't been working. No, I know, but Something happened. <laughs> All I know is after like getting up and down the ladder so many times with that freaking template. <laughs> As soon as I got it all said and done, I'm like, I couldn't, I could barely walk. Like my lower back was that just like screaming at me. It was Locked like, up. what the heck, dude? Like, I don't know what, I, I don't know what I did. I don't know what happened. Was it from the, you know, the tool bag having it around my waist and holding it around? Cause that does happen to me, unfortunately, partly why I don't wear a tool bag half the time. <laughs> I have to, I have to admit, sadly, it's happening to me too with the tool bag. So I'll wear it when I know that I have to be hands free for a little while. Um, but after about an hour or so of wearing it, you I'm like, it I'm done. And it's like, oh, it feels so much, so much weight it. off your hips and yeah. off of your lower back. So I don't know if it was that, or was it the treated wood that we picked up getting up over here to put the ledger board up or was it the joists going up and down multiple times or was it just a mix of everything hitting me all at once <laughs> or were you like me and bent over to pick up an empty box once and boom locked up I have no idea it could it could have been a whole lot of i mean with it. your back you never know i literally bent over to pick up an empty box one time mm -hmm. and i was in bed for like four days it happens i mean it just 
I don't know. I remember the one time you put on a bed sheet. And, mm -hmm. bed and I like dropped, dude, it dropped me like a freaking sack of potatoes. I, I hit the ground hard. Yeah. <laughs> but today, but, today you're not feeling that bad, are you? No, I could still feel a little bit of pressure here and there, uh, but I feel like after I wake up a little bit more, have some more coffee, move around a little bit, I should be able to get this going and get it. Get some rafters up here. Yeah, so today's goal. Tell me, baby, what we doing? Well, now that I've got my hip template made, <laughs> we can make our hip rafters. Okay. We can get those uh, up there, and we've got to line everything up, get everything laid out for the 16 on center, ledger lock bolts um, for all the ledgers or the band boards and whatnot, and once that's all said and done, I might be chopping off the eave or the, yeah, overhang. So, I don't know. I'm still questioning on that, on whether or not we should chop it. And I'll talk to you more about it later on. I don't want to give too many beans on here. But, okay. But I have thought about it. We're going to see where we can... Uh, where we can end today because we got a lot to do. Yeah, there is so many steps in order to get us to having the zip board up and tied into the roof. Um, but day by day, little by little, we're getting there. Yep, little yep. by little. Little by little. So guys, I wanna thank you so much for hanging out with us today and watching today's episode of Real Talk with SLR. I might be back in tomorrow to wish all of you ladies a happy Mother's Day. You never know, we'll see. Um, but until the next one, friends, we love y'all and we hope you have a good one. We'll catch you on the next one. Bye, you guys. Later, later.